We used to know more. Everyone did. But the years went by, centuries upon centuries, and time consumed our ability to retain that precious information. Even in today's world of easy and endless access, endless ways of storing information, it bleeds away from us in volumes of oceans, in quantities greater than humans can fathom. The only way, the only solution is to set up some manner of a connection to the past, to those who knew more than us, to the previous versions of ourselves that knew more and better. There are brief, endlessly exciting and invaluable moments of lucidity, where something is unlocked and all the answers flow through us, and that is when we are able to create. And in these moments of lucidity, it all floods back to me. How I used to paint, how I used to create, how I can do it all now. All the little tips and tricks that make everything infinitely easier and more practical that I somehow managed to forget on a regular, almost daily basis. But in that moment, I know everything that I could possibly know. And I know that I can call that information to me again at any moment just by reaching for it. But I also know that I will most likely forget again. I need to come back to old sources of knowledge, old sources of information, old pathways. The thing that transports you into the past can be anything, as long as you know what triggers it. And I'm here again, staring at a blank page, wondering what I was going to draw, or how long I have to complete it. I sigh and try to think back to what it was meant to be. I'm supposed to have a sketch done before the week is over. I know that I could push beyond that, but the bare minimum will see me through until the end of the week at least, possibly longer if I can finish something in class as well. I really wanted the weekend off, but I don't think that's an option anymore. If I can finish the sketch, I can take one day off and make it a day just for me. A self-care day. A mental health day. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Things have been difficult lately. I sigh and go back to a time before, back when I knew how to draw. Going back like this, accessing an earlier version of myself, can be done in a number of ways, but the most reliable way for me has always been, and I believe always will continue to be, music. I hear a song that I heard once when I was painting a masterpiece, and it's as if all the memories from every single time that I've painted return to me at the same time. Not the actual paintings themselves, so much as the feeling of being able to make them, effortlessly, painlessly, without struggle and without hurdles. And before I know what's happening, the song I'm listening to on repeat fades into the background, and the only thing that exists is me in the sketch forming in front of me, little by little, bit by bit. And there is no struggle, but just endless patience, for every line, every shape, every last detail of this drawing, and it feels like flying. And I don't get tired, and I don't lose patience, and it always works, but it's hard to start because art is not the only thing in my life. Almost everything else takes me away from it, pushes it aside, makes it more difficult. And when I snap back, the drawing is finished, and I have no idea how I did it. I stare down with a half-hearted smile and feel tired and drained, but satisfied. Yes, very satisfied. I'm happy with how this turned out. I go to wash my face and brush my teeth and collapse onto the bed. I don't want to make a full to-do list for tomorrow. Instead, I just make a list of the most essential things in no particular order. Get something nice from the bakery, have a good breakfast, walk outside a bit, take a long bath, go visit Delilah. I smile at that last one. She's also like that, like painting, like lost knowledge, and hidden treasures of wisdom from times now past. We used to know each other when we were children. And now, now after all these years, we found each other again. 
and I can't help but feel like what we have is all the more special because it was lost and then found again.